Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. So we have a question on one of our video in this channel. Coarsel nanoparticle illustration using Blender. Roy Pradyut, he is asking, could you please show how to make a transparent layer of shell over a core, where the core will contain the atoms, but shell will be a layer of transparent glass. So basically the question here is how we can make a transparent glass material in blender so basically the idea is we can make the light in the scene pass through the material so that it will appear as a transparent material so let's have a look at that quickly so i have a nanoparticle inside a project here so i'll add a sphere shift a mesh uv sphere and I'll go to wireframe mode so that we can see things clearly. I will move this up like that and move and place it exactly at the center of the nanoparticle like this way. I'll increase the scale, press S and move the mouse. Now we have a bigger size for the shell and go to wireframe mode again. We need to delete one by fourth of the shell so that we will have a cross section. All right, so go to view, viewpoint, select right or left so that we can look at the nanoparticle from exactly one side. Go to edit mode so that we can make some changes to the shell. Whenever you want to make a change to an object, go to edit mode, press tab. Now click outside and make sure that nothing is selected and click and drag select one by fourth of the vertices like this. Make sure that the top vertex point is not selected. Now simply press X and click on vertices. And I'll go to solid preview mode and press tab so that we can go back to object mode. And now you can see we have a shell. Now let's go to render preview mode so that we can see lights and materials and add a material, go to Material properties, click on new, go below. There you can see an option called transmission. Increase the value to one like that, which means that light will transmit through the material. Now it is not looking like a transparent material. We have to activate two important settings that you have to keep in mind. So go below and there you can see settings, expand that. Inside that you can see screen space refraction, activate that and go to render properties to activate the second setting. You can see screen space reflections, activate that and expand the menu. There you can see an important setting refraction, activate that as well. Now you can see our material is transparent. You can see the atoms through. It is a rough material. That is why we are not able to see properly. You can see a translucent glass. So go back to material properties there you can see an option called roughness if you increase the roughness you will make the surface less transparent if you reduce the roughness you can make the material more transparent like this and one more property that you can use to change the property of glass is index of refraction for example water honey oil all these materials has different index of refractions right so if you change the index of refraction from 1.45 that is a default value to 1.1 you can see the property of the glasses is actually changing and i'll go down and there is one more property under settings called blend mode i will choose alpha blend now you can see we have a perfectly transparent glass now i'll go back to solid preview mode Select the shell, go to modifier properties and click on this drop down menu and choose solidify and increase the thickness so that we have some thickness for the shell. Go back to render preview mode. Now this looks like a shell, but I will prefer not to have alpha blend activated. I'll go back to opaque so that we have a little bit of better visibility. So when you render this image uh, make sure that you have proper lighting that's why we have some shadows here i'll select this light and duplicate shift d and keep it here 
and change that to area lamp i'll press s and increase the scale and rotate in this direction and increase the scale and and one more property that you can control you can see so much of shadow inside select this shell go to material properties under blend mode that we explored right now you can see shadow mode expand this menu and change that to none now you can see we don't have much shadow in this region so i'll move this light in slightly this direction so select this shell and play with index of refraction so that you can make it more visible 1.3 yeah now you can see it better so to make it even more visible you can add a little bit of color change the base color to slightly maybe blue or yellowish as you wish yeah that's how you create a transparent material i hope it is clear let me know if you have any doubts or questions in the comment box i will be answering them in uh, future videos so you can expect uh, regular videos on this channel from now on uh, yeah thank you so much for your support and feedback for the previous videos uh, yeah see you in the next video